From the early signs of heart disease or dementia to identifying the risk of a stroke. For the last 10 years, people over the age of 40 have been offered a free NHS health check, which GPs say can help save lives. The things that we pick up with the NHS health checks, people don't have symptoms with them. So, for example, if you're walking around with a high blood pressure, you wouldn't necessarily have a symptom. The first thing that happens is you might have a stroke or a mini stroke. So what we want to do is identify the people who are at risk of a stroke or a mini stroke before they actually have one. But while GPs say these checks help to manage patients' health, less than half of those invited for an appointment have taken the offer up. Hey, it's all good. Okay, good. Is Karen doing what you're doing? And many we've spoken to today didn't even know the checkup existed. A midlife health check. I have. I didn't receive a letter, but I did go to the GP for another reason, and they said, "When did you have your last midlife health check?" And I said, "Never." So she tested my blood pressure and everything. Then why wouldn't I? take a free health check. It just makes sense. It's common sense really, isn't it? Have you ever taken them up on the offer? No, no. I don't know, I don't know why. Perhaps I'm a bit scared, I don't know. <laughs> and it's because of the low uptake and questions raised over its value for money that the government has launched a review based on a similar blueprint to that used for detecting cancer. It will look into personalising the health check system based on factors like age, where people live and their DNA. The new checks could also be tailor-made, with patients in their 40s given advice about alcohol use and the over 70s given ways to lower their blood pressure. So there may be opportunities to think about uh, the digital delivery of the health check. Uh, there also could be ways in which people could... Uh, could be invited differently. Could they be using? Could we be using smartphone applications? Could we be using text messaging? You know the kinds of things that we used to in so many other areas of our life. The current midlife health check is believed to have saved 500 lives a year since it first started, but it's hoped the new system will be even more effective in detecting illness early. Catherine Nash, Five News.